Well, grieving the loss of a loved one is not an easy undertaking. But one local family has channeled their grief to honor their son by helping others. New this morning, Becky Farr joins us live to explain with in this week's edition of Positively North Dakota. Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Tim and Alicia. I'm at Little Flower Church where the fourth annual Nathan Arts Memorial Blood Drive will be held today. So not only is it to honor Nathan Arts, but it's to give life to the thousands of people in need. He understood the value of a blood donation. As Brenda Arts looks back on her son's journey with a rare muscle cancer, she and her husband also look back on his life. One way they honor their son Nathan is with an annual blood drive, something Nathan initially organized almost four years ago. In one of his journals, he wrote, I got the best gift I could get from somebody today, and he was getting a unit of blood. And he looked at me and he said, we have to give back. After Nathan passed away in February of 2015, his family picked up where he left off. Three and a half years later, they're hosting the fourth annual. You know, on Sunday we were at 50 and just kind of hanging there a little over. And I said, what are we doing? I said, well, <laughs> Nathan wouldn't rest until we had 100. So, and they came. Nathan's parents said they'll hold this annual blood drive in their son's name for as long as they have donors. So if you're hesitant to donate, they have some words of encouragement. We have one guy that just said, man, he's, he, hadn't, he was about my age. And he'd never donated, but he said, man, this is, I just feel so good doing this, that they donate as many times a year as they can. As I would watch um, Nathan get blood, I would realize what a gift that was. So it's a deeper thing than just the blood itself. It's the symbol of life. The blood drive starts at 10 o'clock this morning and goes until 415 this afternoon and walk ins are welcome, but they do prefer that you make an appointment. So if you would like to make an appointment today, you can call Brenda Arts and I'll put her number on our KX News website, mynd.now.com. Tim and Alicia, the arts has told me that uh, Nathan loved the color orange. He loved pumpkins. As you saw in some of those pictures there, he was wearing orange. So I felt it was only appropriate today that I wore orange as well. Very Love good. And hopefully a big turnout there today. Yeah, Thanks, Becky. Thank you.